Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I have this really funky, colorful, abstract nail art tutorial for you today. It is inspired by um, an image that is on my nail art inspiration board on Pinterest. If you want to see that image, don't forget to check out my Pinterest board. I'll have a link in the description box below the video. But uh, yeah, this is uses quite a few different colors just because I'm mixing a bunch of them to get the colors that I want. And it uses some tape and a makeup sponge. So if you want to know how to create this look, then just keep watching. The first thing we're going to do is apply my base coat. I've already done that and I have used OPI's Natural Nail Base Coat. Now we're going to use some tape to block off the top half of our nail. I'm using painter's tape. You can use just regular um, clear tape if you want. And I'm going to be sponging on the bottom portion of my nail. I'm going to use a mixture. I'm going to use a gray and I'm going to use a white. So I'm just going to dab this on to all of my nails. It doesn't have to give a completely opaque color. I just want to have a little something that differentiates it from the top portion that has no nail polish on it right now. And if you can still see your, um, your nail line underneath, that's fine as well. Kind of just want to give it a bit of a cloudy, milky texture. And once you have finished your stamping, you can just gently peel off the tape. Now, using some more painter's tape, I'm going to block out a triangular shape on my nail. It can be centered, it can be off-center, however you want. And I'm using a mixture of two greens to create sort of a char chartreuse sort of color and I'm just going to stamp that on into that triangular space that we've blocked out. And remove the tape. And we're basically just going to repeat this step with triangles face pointing upwards and downwards with three other different colors. And now that I've got all my colors on there, I'm just going to go back in with a detail brush or a script brush and I'm just going to refine some of the edges of some of the triangles. And now that we've added all of our colors, we're of course going to finish off the design with a layer of top coat to help protect it and help give it a really nice shine. And that is it from this nail art design. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see the art that this was inspired by, don't forget to check out my nail art inspiration Pinterest board. I'll have a link in the description box below the video. And uh, that's it. It's uh, one of the last sort of summary nail art tutorials for this year as we roll into fall. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!